that's all good news about Sarah. Yeah, for us, we're just going to look at some extra rain potentially next week. Okay. So it's not the worst thing in the world, especially yeah. this time of year. Yeah, we could use a little bit of rain. So I'm moving forward with my Christmas decorations. Thank knowing, goodness. I know, love to hear that. <laughs> yeah, knowing that, you know, might be a little breezy. Even this weekend, Friday, Saturday, could be breezy. Next week, as that front comes on through, it could be breezy. So maybe they all don't stay up perfectly. But we're looking at an event that is typical for this time of year. When we saw these computer models spit up a hurricane, in the Gulf, 14 day, 10, 14 days out, I'm thinking, okay, let's just wait a little bit because that is not what we typically get in November. It's just typically doesn't happen. We have wind shear, we have cooler water, we have dry air, and the models finally kind of moderated and went back to what is more typical. What's not good is that it's just kind of hanging around the coastlines, hugging the coastlines over the next 12 hours or so through Honduras, just bringing more and more rain. So they're not getting away easy with Sarah as far as global impacts. The Central America is really seeing the brunt of this, but it is going to die off not only uh, within the next couple of days, but through the Yucatan. Earlier suggestions were like, hey, maybe it will try to come through the Yucatan and emerge into the Gulf and it's just not going to be strong enough. It's not going to have enough integrity to make it through that land area for the day. So the forecast cone is now even shorter. It doesn't even go. It goes until about Monday and then it shuts off. So that's going to be it. What will happen is that moisture, the cloud cover just doesn't evaporate immediately. It will kind of emerge into the Gulf and then tag along with the front and head our way next week. How much rain can we see? Exactly what time does it arrive? It's a little too early to say all of those numbers but hopefully we can get a little bit of rain out of this because we need rain it's getting already a little bit on the drier side it's nice to get a nice little uh, soaking here or there before we get even drier in the next coming months. We'll take any rain opportunity we can get during that dry season. So in the immediate future while we watch Sarah just kind of continue to hug the coastlines of Honduras. We have a front headed our way for tomorrow. This really has nothing to do with Sarah. This front is going to set us up for a beautiful weekend. A nice little dose of dry air, low humidity. It's going to feel really good for this weekend. Here's the front. It does not come with any rain. We're talking a stray shower, a stray drizzle. It's just not going to be a rain event. And honestly, this front that's headed our way next week, it may not have had a lot of rain with it if we didn't have this surge of tropical moisture ahead of it. Keep in mind, it's Thursday. We're talking about next Wednesday. And I've always said, hey, beyond that five-day forecast, when it comes to tropical systems specifically, things are going to change a little bit. So keep in mind, this forecast could change a little bit. Is it returning to a tropical system? I don't see that. What I'm saying how it could change is maybe we don't see as much rain as we're anticipating. Maybe we can see more rain than we're anticipating. Leave their room to adjust that forecast for next week. But generally speaking, we're talking about a cold front bringing some rain. Tuesday night into Wednesday, potentially into Thursday, and then getting out of here, setting up for another big dip in the humidity and a little bit of a cool down. So we will see some up and downs with the temperature and the humidity as we go through next week. Here's that front that's headed our way for tomorrow. You don't see a lot of rain with it because there is not a lot of rain with it. What you will see are the winds pick up a little bit for the second half of the day into the evening, and the winds will stay on the higher side, 10, 15 miles per hour, and then gusting up to 20 or 25 for Friday and into Saturday. Temperatures will stay into the low 70s tomorrow morning. It's a nice day. We'll be into the 80s, and then even cooler temperatures for the afternoon highs arrive for this weekend. 71 tomorrow morning, but also areas inland into the upper 60s. 83 tomorrow. That's not bad at all. We were at 90 on Monday, so 83 is a little bit better than that, more comfortable. Check out Saturday, 79 degrees. Now, the red box, we're not expecting severe weather at this time, but we are expecting just those impacts from what's left over of Sarah. That's why we have those red boxes on the seven day, just to kind of give you that heads up, and we'll keep that forecast adjusted over the next few days. That's your first alert forecast.